In this task, I'll export the map in two parts. The first part for the base map and the second part for the proportional symbols. And the reason for doing this as two exports is that the raster hillshade and the transparency effects of the vector layers can't be exported to PDF as a vector file. To maintain these effects, the export has to be rasterized, which prevents us from getting access to the vector data. So I'll need to export the proportional symbol layers separately as I'll want to move and manipulate those once I get them into Inkscape. So I've got QGIS Desktop open here as I left it at the end of task two, and I'm going to start out by turning off the visibility for the IDP layer and the Refugees layer. And now I'm going to go open a Print Composer. So I'll go to the Project menu, New Print Composer, and I'll name this Syria. And I'll click OK to open the Print Composer. And I'm going to start on the Composition tab by setting some settings for my composition. Next to Presets, I'm going to set this to Custom. And then I'm going to set a custom size of 220 by 205. Next, I'm going to click the Change button for Page Background, select the Simple Fill symbol, and change the fill style to No Brush, and click OK. And then finally, I'll select Print as Raster, because remember, I want to export this as a raster. Next, I'll select the Add New Map button, and I'll drag a box across my map composition to add the map. Once the map is on there, I'm going to go to Item Properties. I'm going to click Set to Map Canvas Extent, and I'm going to set the scale to 3.5 million. And click Enter. Next, I'm going to scroll down to Position and Size, which control the size of my map on the composition. And I'm going to set the X and Y to 0, which puts the upper left-hand corner in the upper left-hand corner of the composition. And then I'm going to set the width and the height to equal the map, which is 220 by 205. So now the map fills the entire composition perfectly. Finally, I'll go to Background and uncheck the background. With the map composed, I'm going to export this by going to the Composer menu, choosing Export as PDF. I'm going to save this as Syria Base Map in my Lab Document folder and click Save to export it. I've already saved this, so I'm actually overwriting a previous one. And I've exported my map, so I'm now going to close the Print Composer. And you can always save it first if you'd like. And back in QGIS, I'm now going to turn off all the base map layers and turn on the IDP and Refugee proportional symbol layers. With that done, I'll go to the Project menu to the Composer Manager so I can reopen my map composition. I'll check Syria and the Show button to reopen that. And I'll scroll up on the map composition page and check Update Preview. I can see the scale has changed, so I'm going to fix that, put it back at 3.5 million. I'm going to go back to the Composition tab and uncheck Print as Raster. Remember, I want these proportional symbols to export as vector objects in the PDF so I can manipulate them in Inkscape later. And so with the map composed, I'll export the map by going to Composer, Export as PDF. If you get this message, just uncheck Print as Raster, click Close, and I'll call this Syria Proportional Symbols. That's all I need to do for composing the map in QGIS, and in the next task, I'll prepare a rough map design in Inkscape.